I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. The Trump Organization's former controller, Jeff McConney, took the stand again previously, was cross-examined now under direct examination in the New York Attorney General civil fraud trial and broke down and started crying hysterically while he was testifying. He was called by Trump's lawyers. He was being asked questions about the various proceedings that he was involved in and he broke down, started crying, basically saying, I can't take this anymore. And he said, I just want to relax and just stop being accused and brought into all of these cases and being told that I'm misrepresenting assets for the company that I was working for. I just wanted to stop. Then he had to be handed a tissue by the bailiff. I mean, we're talking about Bawling. He was crying hysterically on the stand. And by the way, this is someone who was given an immunity deal in the Manhattan District Attorney criminal case where the Trump Organization was convicted of over a dozen felony counts for its tax fraud criminal conduct for the various felonies. In that matter, he was called on cross-examination, remember, a few weeks back, one of the first witnesses in the civil case, now called on the stand by Trump. Trump's lawyers, and that's when he broke down crying. You know, I was talking to Michael Cohen about this on the Political Beatdown podcast that I do, and Cohen's like, that's what Donald Trump does to people who works for him. He breaks him down. Someone like Jeff McConney was there basically doing what he was told to do. He was basically, you know, the village idiot working for Donald Trump go, do, 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 while he was inputting fraudulent numbers. And so now while he goes, I was just doing my job while well, the job that you were doing was fraudulent was fraudulent. That's why the organization was convicted on multiple felony counts. In the other case, you were given immunity. That's why your direct report, Alan Weisselberg, the former chief financial officer, pled guilty to multiple felony counts and served time in Rikers Island. And that's why you are in that seat. You know, one of the key moments of McConney's testimony, he listed all of the various proceedings that he's been involved in and that he's been testifying in. And one of the things he let slip, and this was kind of a big one, he talked about getting a subpoena from the Southern District of New York, the federal prosecutors, and that raised a lot of eyebrows. Which case was he talking about? Not the Manhattan District Attorney case, not the Washington, D.C. Special Counsel Jack Smith case, not the Southern District of Florida case, not the Georgia Criminal Rico case, not the New York Attorney General Civil case, a federal case being uh, investigated by SDNI, SDNY is the Southern District of New York federal prosecutors now investigating Donald Trump for other criminal conduct or for other conduct or the Trump organization. That is something worth noting as well. And then after Jeff McConney was, you know, you know, the direct examination presentation by McConney and by Don Jr. and by some of the other people who the Trump organization would call up. They, they called a insurance expert up this past week. You know, basically they're going through PowerPoint presentations and, you know, painting a very rosy picture, which on cross-examination is just so easy to basically break. I mean, watch, watch how the New York Attorney General broke each witness. So you've got... Don Jr. Um, okay, Don Jr., did you ever review any of the statement of financial conditions? No. And you were the leader of the organization? Yes. And you didn't think that you needed to review any of the statement of financial conditions, which is the heart of this case? No. So you have no clue what's happened at all regarding the finances of the Trump organization? No. Why? I just let the professionals do it. Okay. Next up, the uh, Trump organization wants to call an insurance expert and say, look, the reason that uh, Zurich had to do the, was doing this deal is because they wanted to do the deal with Trump and they were so, they so needed Trump's business that badly. And it was like, what are you talking about? I mean, Zurich, a billion dollar insurance company, couldn't live without Donald Trump. Is that, that's what you're saying? And by the way, were you aware? <laughs> that the um, 
uh, insurance that the person who worked at Zurich who testified said that the material misrepresentations that were made would have altered the equation about whether to provide insurance at the amount that was given. Oh, so so you're not aware of that. Okay. All right, Jeff McConney. Um, let's talk about were the numbers you were given actually accurate numbers when you actually look back at them? Um, no. And were they based on assumptions that actually were false? Well, we didn't know they were false at the time. Well, you were aware that you were creating at some point you needed to create accurate assumptions and you couldn't just come up with random numbers. Well, that's no, that's that's true. Well, and you do realize, for example, that Mar-a-Lago is actually um, was a commercial property, not a residential property. Were you aware of that? Uh, were you aware that Donald Trump's triplex was actually 10,000 square feet, not 30,000 square feet? Well, were you aware that some of these buildings were rent controlled, but they were basically represented to lenders as not having rent control and that the square footage was calculated at the highest possible valuation with no rent control at all and full occupancy when everybody knew that wasn't the case and that was used to inflate the valuations. Well, I don't know. Were you, I mean, you go through each property and McConney just couldn't handle it. And again, just crying and crying on and crying and crying on. The Geology is a 26 time award winning skin, hair and body care company recognized in men's health, hype beast, Birdie, Esquire, Ask Men, and Oprah Daily Grooming Awards. Geology creates simple and effective skincare and hair care routines customized just for you with ingredients that are proven to work. Their products are built around just a handful of powerful proven ingredients that have been trusted by dermatologists for decades. With over 7,000 five-star reviews, it's clear that people truly love the product. My skin looks so much better now that I'm using the Geology skincare they sent to me. My skin is smoother and it's become a wonderful daily routine to make sure my skin stays clear. The moisturizing morning cream and everyday face wash have become my personal favorite. Geology, spelled G-E-O-L-O-G-I-E, -O -O -E, helps fight acne, reduce oiliness, prevent wrinkles, and combat dark or puffy under eyes. Have smoother, hydrated skin and target signs of aging. Right now, for a limited time, they're hooking you up with an absolutely insane offer. Use my code LEGALAF70 or scan the QR code on the screen and they will give you an exclusive 70% off their award-winning skincare trial set. On top of that, you can get 30% on the add-ons products of your choice when you add it to your trial. This is one of the best offers you'll see. Get it before it's gone. Head to G-E-O-L-O-G dot I-E slash Legal AF 70 or scan the QR code on the screen and use code Legal AF 70 and they will give you an exclusive 70% off of their award-winning skincare trial set. On top of that, you can save big on the add-on products of your choice when you add it to your trial. Thank you, Geology, for partnering with us. This is what Donald Trump does to people who work for him. Okay, whether it's a McConney, whether it's a Weisselberg, whether before that, look, my co-host on Political Beatdown, whether it is Michael Cohen, and you want to look at the version 2.0 or 4.0 or 6.0 of this, I mean, look no further than his current crew. Look at Alina Haba who goes up there. Look at Christopher Keis who goes up there. Look at Joe Takapina who goes up there. How you can look at the track record of how Donald Trump cannibalizes the professionals who works for him, chews them up, spits them out, uses them as actual pawns. The physical manifestation of that is having Jeff McConney on the stand crying. And this is someone, McConney's 6'3", 6'4", he's Donald Trump's height, Donald Trump's size, not 250 pounds. I'm talking about a large man crying hysterically on the stand, bailiff giving him tissues, bawling his brains out. That's what Donald Trump does. Everything Donald Trump touches, this is what happens to. And look, Donald Trump's been on a tear this evening. He's been posting and 
posting and posting on his social media platform. Folks, he is spiraling out of control as accountability is coming his way. So he can say all of the things that he wants. He could say Mar-a-Lago this. He could say, you know, my properties are the biggest valuation in the world. He could attack Judge and Goron. He could attack Judge and Goron's law clerk. But the facts aren't on his side. And if the facts were on his side, he wouldn't be attacking the law clerk for the judge. He wouldn't be attacking the judge. He wouldn't be attacking the prosecutor. You know what he would do? He'd go into court and he would say, actually, let's go through the financials. Don Jr. would be saying, yes, as a owner of this organization, as a co-trustee, yes, I looked through all of the documentation. Here is how I did my due diligence. Eric Trump would say, I take my due diligence seriously. For all the magasplainers out there who want to explain to me that the valuation for fair market values 5,000% more than the tax appraisal when the entity itself is devaluing the property by encumbering the property with uh, historical easements and and other types of uh, encumbrances to try to devalue the property to pay less property taxes. For all of those people who want to magasplain it to me, tell me about the CEO of what's supposed to be an important corporation that doesn't review their financials. Explain it to me. Explain to me. I've never heard of that. CEOs, their office is next to the CFO, next to the COO. They all communicate. They don't go, oh, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. And they don't have their former controller take the stand and start crying his brains out. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 2 million subscribers. Thanks to your support. Have a great day. Oh, check us out at patreon.com slash Midas Touch. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram at Midas Touch to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.